10 surprising facts about Jamaica's mining future that could change the Caribbean forever. Number 7 will shock you. In this video, we are going to look at Jamaica's mining sector through 10 key insights. From steady growth in bauxite and aluminum production to the island's role in deep sea mining governance, each point reveals the stakes and opportunities for the nation. You'll also see how environmental pressures, foreign investment, and local processing efforts are shaping the industry's future. By watching till the end, you'll understand why Jamaica is no longer just a tropical paradise. It's becoming a pivotal player in a high-stakes, global mining game. Jamaica's history with mining is a story of both triumph and caution. For decades, the island was a powerhouse in bauxite and aluminum production, fueling global industries and generating significant national revenue. But times change. Global demand for minerals, especially those used in electronics, renewable energy, and aerospace, is soaring. Suddenly, Jamaica's long-dormant mineral wealth is back in the spotlight. Yet along with opportunity comes complexity, environmental concerns, economic uncertainty, and geopolitical dynamics create a delicate balancing act that the country must navigate carefully. Number 1. Mining Revival in Motion Jamaica is experiencing a noticeable revival in its mining industry. After years of fluctuating output and shifting international markets, 2024 marked a turning point. Aluminum production increased by 4%, reaching approximately 1,337 million tons, up from 1,286 million tons in 2023. On the surface, this may seem modest, but it signals a strong upward trend. The increase isn't just in production. Bauxite royalties surged as well, totaling around $623 million for the 2024 to 2025 fiscal year. This revenue isn't merely a line item in a budget. It represents potential investments in education, infrastructure, and healthcare, all tied directly to the mining sector. Yet, the revival comes with new challenges. The industry is now under the microscope from environmental groups, local communities, and international investors who are keen to see sustainable growth. Jamaica is no longer just a producer of raw materials. It's stepping into a role that requires careful management, strategic vision, and a long-term plan to ensure the benefits reach ordinary Jamaicans. But production alone isn't enough. Modern mining is increasingly about technology, equipment, and efficiency, and Jamaica is moving in that direction. Number 2. Steady Growth in Mining Equipment Demand From 2025 onwards, the market for mining equipment in Jamaica is projected to grow steadily. Analysts predict growth starting at 1.45% in 2025, climbing to 4.35% by 2029. This might sound small, but in industrial terms, it's a significant signal. Jamaica is modernizing its mining operations, moving away from outdated methods and embracing mechanization. Mechanized equipment not only increases efficiency, but also reduces safety risks and environmental impacts. For instance, modern excavation and ore processing equipment can minimize soil erosion and water contamination compared to older techniques. This shift also opens the door to local employment in high-tech areas such as machine maintenance, software management, and technical training programs. Example, a mining company in Jamaica recently trialed drone-assisted surveys of bauxite deposits. The drones not only mapped out more accurate extraction zones, but also helped reduce unnecessary land disruption. It's small steps like this that indicate a future-oriented, smarter mining strategy. Yet, equipment and production gains are only effective when guided by a robust national framework, and that's where policy comes into play. Number 3. National Minerals Policy – A Guiding Framework The National Minerals Policy of Jamaica, 2017-2030, is designed to transform the country's mineral wealth into a driver of sustainable growth. Unlike earlier periods where mining focused primarily on extraction and export, the policy emphasizes inclusive development. It targets key resources, bauxite, limestone, and silica, not just for raw export, but as a foundation for value-added industries. Importantly, it also places environmental protection front and center. Mining companies are expected to mitigate impacts on local communities, restore degraded land, and ensure water systems remain safe. 
Policies now encourage dialogue between mining firms and local stakeholders to avoid conflicts, ensure transparency, and provide opportunities for economic participation. For Jamaica, this isn't just about economic metrics, but about social cohesion and long-term sustainability. While national policy sets the stage, Jamaica is also gaining a global platform that could influence mining far beyond its shores. Number 4. Center Stage in Deep Sea Mining Few people realize that Kingston, Jamaica, hosts the International Seabed Authority, ISA. This organization oversees mineral-related activities in international waters, aiming to protect the marine environment while allowing responsible resource development. This puts Jamaica at the center of a global debate, the race to exploit deep-sea minerals critical for batteries, electronics, and renewable energy technology. From cobalt to rare earth elements, these minerals could redefine global supply chains, and decisions made in Kingston could ripple across continents. Yet, with influence comes responsibility. Environmental scientists warn that deep-sea mining could disrupt fragile ecosystems that are still poorly understood. Jamaica's role as a host nation positions it uniquely. The country can champion both economic development and environmental stewardship, potentially setting standards for the entire industry. But as of now, Jamaica isn't yet exploiting these deep sea riches commercially, raising questions about when, or even if, this will happen. Number 5. No commercial deep sea mining yet. Despite the hype, as of mid-2025, no commercial deep-sea mining operations have been approved. The ISA continues to develop a mining code that balances global economic interests with environmental protection. This delay isn't a setback, it's a period of critical preparation. Developing a code that governs international waters is no small feat. It requires careful consideration of fragile marine life, sediment disruption, and potential contamination. For Jamaica, this delay offers strategic advantages. The country can position itself as a leader in responsible deep sea mining, ensuring that when operations eventually begin, they adhere to high environmental and ethical standards. Moreover, the extended timeline allows Jamaican companies, policymakers, and scientists to prepare technologically and logistically, creating local expertise in an area that could define the future of global mining. While the deep sea horizon remains uncertain, land-based mining continues, showing steady, measurable growth. Number 6. Modest Growth in Bauxite Exports Jamaica's bauxite exports are expected to grow at a modest yet meaningful rate of 0.64% CAGR between 2023 and 2027. On the global stage, these numbers may seem small, but in context, they're significant. Aluminum demand continues to rise due to construction, transportation, and green technology sectors, giving Jamaica a stable foothold in international markets. The challenge lies in balancing growth with sustainability. Export-focused strategies generate revenue, but they also strain local resources and affect ecosystems. As such, the government and private sector are increasingly exploring value-added processing turning raw ore into aluminum products on the island itself, which creates jobs and higher economic returns. But mining doesn't happen in isolation. Environmental pressures are mounting and Jamaica must confront them head on. Number 7. Intensifying Environmental Pressures Mining activities inevitably impact the environment. Deforestation, soil erosion, water contamination, and biodiversity loss are real concerns. Climate change compounds these issues, increasing the risk of extreme weather events that can devastate mined areas. Jamaican communities are increasingly vocal, demanding stronger regulations and safeguards. International environmental organizations also monitor the sector, highlighting cases of irresponsible practices. For the industry to thrive, it cannot ignore these pressures. Mining companies must adopt green technologies, reforestation programs, and water management strategies. This is not just about compliance, it's about reputation and long-term viability. Investors are increasingly attracted to operations that are environmentally responsible, making sustainability a competitive advantage in the global mining market. Beyond environmental concerns, Jamaica is seeking to capture more value from its minerals, 
not merely export raw materials. Number 8. The Push for Value-Added Processing Jamaica is increasingly realizing that exporting raw minerals alone does not fully harness the economic potential of its natural resources. The true value lies in processing and refining these minerals locally. By transforming raw bauxite into aluminum products or turning silica into high-value industrial materials, Jamaica can generate significant economic gains while creating a skilled workforce. This concept, known as value-added processing, is central to the country's efforts to strengthen its mining sector and boost domestic economic development. Consider this scenario. Rather than shipping raw bauxite overseas for smelting, Jamaica could process it domestically into aluminum ingots ready for manufacturing industries. This shift would not only create direct employment opportunities for engineers, technicians, and factory workers, but also stimulate related sectors, including logistics, maintenance, and industrial services. Beyond the economic benefits, local processing fosters national pride, as Jamaica becomes recognized not just as a source of raw minerals, but as a producer of advanced industrial goods. The government has been actively promoting value-added initiatives through incentives, partnerships, and policy frameworks that encourage private firms to invest in domestic processing facilities. This includes tax relief for industrial operations and support for technological modernization. However, this transition is not without challenges. Establishing modern processing plants demands substantial capital investment, advanced technology, and highly trained personnel. Environmental considerations are also critical, requiring strict adherence to standards to prevent ecological damage. Despite these hurdles, the potential rewards are immense, offering Jamaica a pathway to economic diversification and industrial sophistication. While Jamaica focuses on harnessing local processing, international investors are increasingly turning their attention to the island's rich mineral resources. Number 9 influx of foreign investment. Jamaica's mineral wealth is attracting unprecedented global interest. Multinational corporations, investment funds, and major mining conglomerates are evaluating opportunities in the island's bauxite, limestone, and silica sectors. This influx of foreign capital promises to modernize the industry, fund infrastructure improvements, and bring cutting-edge technology that can accelerate growth and efficiency. However, the presence of foreign investors comes with complexities. These companies are often driven by the pursuit of high returns, which can create tensions regarding control over resources and the fair distribution of profits. Local communities may question whether the economic benefits truly reach Jamaican citizens or primarily benefit international shareholders. Issues such as mining rights, royalty agreements, and corporate social responsibility require careful negotiation to ensure equitable outcomes. Despite these challenges, there are positive signs. Several international firms are forming strategic partnerships with local companies and academic institutions. These collaborations provide training for Jamaican engineers and technicians while promoting sustainable mining practices. By retaining knowledge and technical skills within the country, Jamaica can ensure that foreign investment translates into long-term domestic capacity, not just short-term profits. In this way, the island positions itself to benefit from global capital while simultaneously developing a strong, locally-driven industrial base. Beyond capital and technology, Jamaica is expanding its influence internationally, shaping not only domestic growth, but also global mining regulations. Number 10 potential to influence global mining regulations. Hosting the International Seabed Authority, ISA, gives Jamaica a unique and influential role in global mining governance. Decisions made in Kingston do not only impact the Caribbean, they can set regulatory standards for deep sea mining across the world. This position provides Jamaica with a rare opportunity to advocate for responsible practices that balance economic development with environmental protection. Deep sea mining focuses on extracting critical minerals such as cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements from the ocean floor. These resources are essential for technologies that define modern life, including electric vehicles, renewable energy systems, and high-tech electronics. However, mining in fragile underwater ecosystems carries the risk of irreversible environmental damage. 
By actively participating in regulatory discussions, Jamaica can influence international frameworks that protect these habitats while enabling sustainable economic benefits. Imagine a regulation developed in Kingston guiding how deep-sea minerals are extracted off the coasts of Africa or Asia. Jamaica's voice could help safeguard biodiversity in some of the world's most sensitive marine environments. This influence elevates the country's global standing, positioning it as a leader capable of setting responsible standards that other nations may follow. For the average Jamaican, this means more than abstract regulations. It translates into tangible opportunities, including jobs, technological transfer, and participation in global initiatives. Mining becomes not only a source of wealth, but also a means to develop national capacity, protect the environment, and assert Jamaica's role on the world stage. Jamaica stands at a pivotal moment in its mining journey, where economic growth, global influence, and environmental responsibility intersect. From advancing local value-added processing to attracting foreign investment and shaping international mining standards, the decisions made today will influence the country's economy, environment, and society for generations to come. The mining sector is no longer simply about extraction. It represents a complex ecosystem that affects communities, industries, and the nation's future. By examining these insights, we gain a clearer understanding of both the challenges and opportunities facing Jamaica's mining sector. With strategic planning, investment in human capital, and sustainable practices, the island can maximize its mineral wealth while fostering long-term growth and global recognition. If you found this analysis insightful, please like, comment, and subscribe for more detailed explorations of global industries and emerging economic opportunities. Your engagement helps us continue delivering informative, timely, and engaging content directly to you.